Before we start learning Mokito and Parmok, we need to understand two concepts. First, principles and mocking. In this lecture, I will introduce the first principles by details. Okay, as we know, the unit test is the most important work. I read Develop engineer should write unit test code to verify the source code correctness before push the source code change to work control system like GitHub. Even the unit test code will be before the source code development work under the TDD methodology. But how to write the correct and reasonable unit test code. Actually, as a software developer, we have several principles can reference. Let me explain those principles one by one. The first principle is fast. Unit tests should be fast, otherwise they will slow down our development or deployment time and it will take longer time to pass or field. One of the major causes of slow tests is dependency the external resources such as databases, files, network cores. We should avoid create the dependency directly by mocking replacement. And the second principle is a solitaire. The solitaire is that we should never ever write tests with which depend on other test cases. By making independent tests, it is easy to keep our tests focused only on a small amount or behavior. When this test field, we will know exactly what has gone wrong and uh, will. No need to debug the code itself. And the third principle is repeatable. The repeatable means repeatable test is one that produces the same result each time we run it. To accomplish repeatable tests, we must isolate them from anything in the external environment, not under our control directly. In those cases, feel free to use the mock objects. They have been designed for this very purpose. The fourth principle is self-validating. Validating means test must be validating. Each test must be able to determine that the output is expected or not. It must be determined it is filled or passed. And the last principle is timely. The timely in fact, you can write unit test case at any time. We can append after the test code when production ready, or you are better off focus on writing unit test in a timely fashion. As a suggestion, you should have guideline or strategy use around the unit testing. You can use the review processes or even automatic tools to re reject code without sufficient tests. All of those principles is named first principle. Okay, in next lecture, I will introduce what is mocking. Okay, see you next lecture.